It's never been a good bet to bet against the American people. It's never, ever, ever been a good bet to bet against America. Let's pass the Paycheck Fairness Act and pay leave. <laughs> Raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour. And extend the child tax credit. Let's get the Paycheck Fairness Act to my desk as well. Equal pay. Let's raise the minimum wage to $15. Let's increase Pell Grants, increase our historic support for HBCUs, and invest in what Jill, our First Lady who teaches full-time, calls America's best-kept secret, community colleges. And we'll increase Pell Grants and invest in historical black colleges and universities, tribal colleges, minority-serving institutions. Let's pass the PRO Act. When a majority of workers want to form a union, they shouldn't be able to be stopped. I'm calling on Congress to pass Protect the Right to Organize Act, the PRO Act, and send it to my desk so we can support the right to unionize. Last year, 55 of the Fortune 500 companies earned $40 billion in profit and paid zero in federal taxes. Now look, it's not fair. That's why I proposed the 15 percent minimum tax rate for corporations. That's why I proposed closing loopholes for the very wealthy who don't pay a, who pay a lower tax rate than a teacher and a firefighter. Fifty-five of the nation's biggest corporations paid zero federal tax last year. Those 55 corporations made in excess of $40 billion in profit, and they benefit from tax loopholes and deductions for offshoring jobs and shifting profits overseas. It's not right. We're going to reform corporate taxes so they pay their fair share. For our LGBTQ plus Americans, let's finally get the Bipartisan Equality Act to my desk. And I said last year, especially to our younger transgender Americans, I'll always have your back as your president. I also hope Congress will get to my desk the Equality Act to protect LGBTQ Americans. I want to know your president has your back. Provide a pathway to citizenship for dreamers, those with temporary status, farm workers, essential workers. Revise our laws, a pathway to citizenship for farm workers who put food on our tables. The most fundamental right in America is the right to vote and have it counted. And look, it's under assault. Tonight, I call on the Senate to pass, pass the Freedom to Vote Act, pass the John Lewis Act, Voting Rights Act. If we truly want to restore the soul of America, we need to protect the sacred right to vote. Congress should pass H.R. 1 and the John Lewis Voting Rights Act and send it to my desk right away. It's never been a good bet to bet against the American people. It's never, ever, ever been a good bet to bet against America, and it still isn't.